All right, everyone, this is Homestead Know How Life is Good. So what we've done is we've had to separate some of the chicks. We sold three of these out of the 31. So we still have quite a few chicks left here. So we had to separate, not because they were having issues as far as with each other, but just because there were so many in one brooder. So we have two brooders now. We have this one, and we have this one here. This one is set up with the Eco Glow heat plate. It's got a feeding trough like this one in it. This one is set up with the heat lamp. Um, this is our first time using the Eco Glow, so we wanted to see how it did before we bought more. So far, it's done pretty good. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna add a layer of pine shavings to their bedding down here. And I'll do a couple layers before I empty them out. And these guys were hatched anywhere between March the 2nd to March the 6th or 7th. So what we've got are, I think today's around the 15th, we got a, you know, they're a couple weeks old. And you can tell that they're already, oh, here, come here little buddy. You can tell that they're already getting feisty but now these are just barnyard mix they're not one breed we just have our chickens free range outside so we have a couple different roosters and a couple different hens so all I'm gonna do to do this is I'm just gonna take I have a box here and then I'm just gonna kind of sprinkle a layer and these are pine shavings. You don't want to use cedar shavings because the cedar expels a, a gas. It could be harmful to your baby chicks. So we're just going to do like this. And give them some fresh. And once I do that, They like their water down here. We're kidnapped their water from them. And then this is a lid. Trying to get some of that off. Stand that lid up over here. They actually had a bunch of feet on it. You can tell they get here scratch around. Alright. We're gonna do the same thing over here in this corner. But they act like they ain't never seen me before. Hey! Hey. All right, you gotta watch out. Can y'all move the other way? Go the other way. You're like, no, I like my corner. Now these are in our kitchen. Just get back over here. put their water back down in here which they've already made a mess of partly so we'll we'll fix that here in just a little bit all right and then we're going to put this feeding trough in here like so let's, uh, yeah. let's do it like that all right so now so here it is they have fresh bedding down over top maybe water they have new feed, their heat lamp, so they're good to go. And that's how we would do our brooder, at least for a couple changes. We wouldn't completely change them until about the third session um, of changing them. So, I mean, you can judge it based on how many you have in there, how much um, feces and stuff you're seeing from your birds, how messy it gets of how you want to change it. But typically, I mean, this size, you can get a good week um, without having to put a lot of bedding in with, you know, say 10 birds or so of this size. 
We hope this helps somebody. Hope you all enjoy Homestead Know How. Life is good. Like, share, subscribe. Hit the notification bell. We hope you all have a great day.